Hey, 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 this is an unboxing for uh, Mr. John Kenny Southworth from uh, Oklahoma City. I cut it to make it easier for me to get into because I'm doing this one-handed. So I got one hand on the phone, one hand on the coins. So we'll see how this is going to work because I got to do some cutting of some stuff, I'm sure. Got me some scissors here. Yeah, trusty scissors. There's a sock over there. Don't pay any attention to that over there. It is what it is. I don't know who left it there. Probably me. Because that's what I do. Hey, check it out. The 2023 Red Book Spiral Bound Edition. I believe it was specially signed by Coinzilla himself. Let's see what we got going on. All right. Don't escape from me. Let's see. There it is right there. Coinzilla. Or as Chauncey Beckham says, Coinzilla. All right, so now I'm going to have to get into this sucker. I'm going to toss it over there to my wife and have her cut it for me. And then uh, we'll get uh, it back at you. Because, hey, look, there's candy in there. Coinzilla always sends the candy. Candy, candy, candy. Oh, there's something else here. I don't even know what's in this box, honestly. I think I know what one thing is. But I don't know what everything is in here, honestly. I really don't. Because this is probably several months old. And so, we'll, we'll see what we got in here. This is an 1874 Indian Head Penny. AU58. Love the look of this. It is very nice. There's lots of red left in it. It might have a light cleaning on it. But you know what's going to look great in my album once I crack it out of this sucker? I just uh, put my other spare 1874 in a lot that I put in together for sale on the Constant Coins Collectible page. And uh, 1874 is not a great shape coin that I put into the typeset album that I'm auctioning off. Currently high bid with John Kenny Southworth at 175 So get up in there. Get up in there and get you some of that. I'm not even making money on that. I'm penny for penny. I'm losing. Get you some of that. Uh, let's see what else we got in here. Hey, I got a ring. Check this out. That's for a young lady that I know. She's going to love that. Mm -hmm. I think she's going to put it on right now. Here you go, baby. Nice. See, that's her reward for helping me out with my coin unboxings. Mm -hmm. That's that's her, her extra, extra. Read all about it. All right, let's see what we got in here. I really don't know what's in here, honestly. I really have no idea. What do we got here? Oh, I bought this because I love Vatican stuff. And this is uh, John Ratzinger, I think it is. The Benedict Sixteenth, Very uh, short-lived pope, as far as being in the, in the papacy anyway. Uh, he lived uh, after he relinquished his... Uh, papal see or popehood as you guess you can call it, whatever you want to call it anyhow he just recently passed away last year and may god rest his soul and may he rest in peace uh i don't know much about the guy honestly he was not in office very long but that's a cool coin and i will cherish that forever let's see what else we got in here what i got in here what is this thing what did i buy has has a lion on it because I'm a Leo, I like things that have lions on it. And that has a lion on it, as you can see. Pretty cool. Where is this from? I paid $15 for it, whatever it is. Looks pretty cool. I like it. Let's see what else we got up in here. This is... Ooh, check that out. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Onza Pura de Plata. That is a 1979. Look at the color on that sucker. Tone to beat the band, as John would say. That is gorgeous. I paid, did I pay, oh, I was going to say, did I pay $60? I paid $45. i will take that at $45 again. Heck yeah. What else do I got up in here? What is that sucker? That looks cool for $15. That's all I got to say. Mexico, 1804, two real. How can you pass that up? Fifteen dollars. 
Fitting. Fifteen dollars. How are you gonna pass that up? We can't pass that up. All right, let's see what else we got up in here. That is, what is that? What have we got going on here? That is a Franz something, 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 something or other. Austria, 1964. Very cool. Um, This is an ancient coin in here. And can you un unwrap that one so we can show that better? And I believe that's empty. That is empty. So what do we got here? This is something, something. Uh, whew. I paid $175 for this sucker. And it is something from Australia, obviously. Because it's got the swan on it. So let's see what I bought. Let's see if I can open this thing. There we go. Oh! <laughs> Look at that beauty. Man, that is a huge, huge slab. PCGS, John Mercanti signed, PCGS proof 69 deep cameo, high relief. These are deep dish pan pizza coins right here. This is awesome. Let's get this thing out of here. If I can. Man, yeah, see if you can get that out of there. And then I'll go ahead and dig around and see what else I got up in here. Yeah, my wife is helping out today. She is the best. Oh my gosh. So we got this coin right here. And I bought this. I can't even remember how much I paid for it. But I don't really care. I thought it was cool. Look at that. That was the the guy with the crown I think it was. That's why I bought it. It just looked cool to me. I liked it. So... That is, what do we say, the Father of Christmas, I guess this one's called, <clears throat> and that's just to get off the authenticity of it, or Roman coin of Aurelian, yeah, man, that's so cool, you could see the head on that one, he had like, he has like a crown or something on his head, it's hard to see in the light, Let's see if I can zoom in on him little bit yeah check that out isn't that cool thorn helmet or something or other going on there that is awesome now back to this monstrosity over here now that she's able to look how big look how thick that sucker is oh my gosh that's like that's half an inch thick it really is look at that sucker that is a huge freaking slab and look how deep dish pan pizza that sucker is and look at that has a queen ever looked better than that no to answer your question she hasn't it's correct that gorgeousness right there wow that is absolutely cool i would pay that again for this because that is that is awesome love it good stuff all right uh, let's get that out of the way. Here's another one. Oh, that's heavy. I don't know what's in there. Let's find out what's in there. Pretty sure I know what's in here. This is a hard, hard item to find. Um, there's a lot of people that missed out on this thing because, I mean, who is not going to bid $69 on this? I mean, you got to bid $69. Guys, for the camera work over here, but look at this a United States typeset number 77. That's what everybody wants, that's what everybody needs. Starting bid was $50, but we got it for $69. This is <laughs> sad to say, this is my third one of these. It has a few coins in there, so he gave me the idea to uh, sell my one set off that's a intercept shield, the green typeset. And I actually put quite a few coins in there. And I might even put uh, the coins that are in here into there. I'm not sure what I'll do. Because I don't think I put these particular coins into the other uh, type set that I'm selling. So I might just do that. Just for the heck of it. Because neither of those two are in the other set. And so I think 
I think that's what I'm going to do. I think I'm going to add these to these one, two, three, four, five coins that are currently in this set. I'm going to put them in the other set and I'm going to keep this book just as a spare, which means I'm probably going to start putting coins in it. And my wife's rolling her eyes. Don't, there's rolling eyes are not allowed coin collecting. Just saying that. And so, yeah, that's where we're at on that. And she is cutting that thing open some more, getting rid of this. There's a lot of candy popcorn in here. What else did I, what's down here? Oh, that's that cool set that I bought of the, that Chauncey Beckham was, was frowning about the whole time. Elvis Presley stamps, baby. Who owns them? Daddy owns them. That's right. And my wife's rolling her eyes again. And I got a group of, what is it, 90, I think, I don't know how many it was. I think it's like 90, um, 90 of the Indian cents, 92 Indian cents. I don't even know how what dates are in here. He said there were some 60s and 70s and 80s. How could I pass this up? I, I think I paid like 125 for this, something like that. I can't remember how much I paid for it. But it was cheap to me to get this many cool coins. And that way, when some young numismatists are looking around for some uh, Indian head scents, I can get these out and just go, hey, take a look and see if there's something you need in here. And I think that's a cool gift to give out to people. Let's take a look at these suckers. I paid $36 for this uh, set of... These set of, of Elvis Presley stamps. They're in their original sheet. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that gorgeousness. And it has a first day cancellation as well. Elvis, look at that. January 1993, Wichita, Kansas. Elvis. He's the king. He's awesome. Look at that. Isn't that cool? Awesome stuff. I hope you guys enjoyed the unboxing of this pet little package we got from Mr. Kenny, John Kenny Southworth out of Oklahoma City, Oklahoma. Uh, well, let's see. He is the Constant Coins and Collectibles uh, on Facebook. So give him a follow if you'd like and uh, get some cool stuff. Reasonably priced. I uh, got to say that. And so enjoy. Uh, highlights are, for me, the Elvis, of course. Look at this huge freaking slab. Dang. That's awesome. That is awesome. And then we got the 90-something Indian head scents from the 60s, 70s, 80s, 90s, and 00s. And we also got the new typeset coin, the album, 77, 7070. That's what everybody wants. That's what everybody covets, amongst other things. So... Thank y'all for stopping by. Appreciate it. And y'all have a great night.